Hey guys, Techno Mentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart a stuck or frozen iPhone 13 Pro Max. And you can do this method on any iPhone. Let's say the screen is frozen, stuck, or you can't touch it. You don't need to touch the screen, and you can do this method without losing any of your data. So let's show you how that's done. First thing is you're going to want to locate the volume up and volume down button. And then the next thing is you're going to locate that side button. So we're going to quickly press and release the volume up, followed by quick press and release the volume down one after another and then hold this side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear at that time you'll let go of that button so I'm going to do volume up volume down one after another and then I hold that side button in this process you do not have to touch the screen a pop-up might come up with a slide to power off you don't have to touch that just simply keep on holding that side button and wait for it to go black and until you see the Apple logo and then you let go of that side button and all that it's doing is forcing the phone to completely shut down and reload the code so if it's a software related issue which is most likely the case why it's stuck or frozen it will fix that now this method is completely safe it will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone and you might need to try it a couple times to get the hang of it make sure you press volume up and down quickly one after another that's important if you don't this process won't work so you can do it as many times as you need until your phone is fixed. So just do volume up, volume down, one after another, and then hold that side button just like that. And like I said, you could do it as many times as you need to without losing any of your personal data. So just do volume up, or volume down, and then keep on holding that side button so that you can get through this process. And I said this method is pretty much the number one troubleshooting steps when it comes to resolving any software related issue that Apple will recommend as the very first recommended solution because it's simple and easy to do and you don't even have to touch the screen and as you can see here I did it again and same exact process it takes about maybe 30 seconds or so go ahead and try it and I hope this video is helpful if so please do consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices see you guys next time